The Whiskey Brothers podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problem. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers podcast starts now. Welcome to the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, 990, that's where we are, the 990th episode of this little thing we've been doing since 2011, uh, a long ass time. I'm Slade Ham. I'm your host, that's Jerry Wayne Longmar, that's Trey Tutson, that's Sam Damaris next to me. We stay busy, uh, lots of stuff to catch up on the Whiskey Brothers, we'll tell you about all that at the end of the episode. We raise a glass to those of you watching, listening, sharing, uh, doing all things Whiskey mode. Brothers. We do a... We do a lot of shit, and you guys follow us through all of it. That's beautiful. You guys just drank like like you, like a wedding toast. That's why you look each other deeply in the eye. I'm gonna break y'all up. This is like you know, you know what <laughs> I mean. You know, sit over there? That's what I'm saying. It's, uh, we're gonna have to separate. <laughs> Don't fight our love, Slade. <laughs> I'm not going to fight your love, but that's going to be the ugliest goddamn baby. <laughs> it's, but it's also going to make for the best still off that fucking camera. <laughs> <laughs> New cover photo on our Facebook page if you haven't been. <laughs> and all the shit they gave us over the fucking years. Are you kidding me? All right, this, me and this motherfucker split a piece of spaghetti like Lady and the Tramp in Gotta Italy. i put my dreads up like, like, the, like the dog ears. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like yeah. Jeff. Still hey, not that gay. No kiss. No kissing. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were, we, were, we were like, it, some things are worth the joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were yeah. also no, no, no. Fair enough. Someone's touching someone's wiener schnitzel. They say in the chat. Uh, Jose Pena running stuff for us over on the ones, twos, threes, and fours. We don't have Adam Taylor with us this week. Uh, he usually runs stuff. Jose, a beast of a comic. He was on. Uh, is this thing on? He murdered too. That yeah, we used to we, the show. previous show, and then uh, he did our Christmas show as well, and brought the house down. We are surrounded by good comedy, and I hope that you guys, as you follow along, recognize that we got some good company. What's up, Charita? In the chat and uh, lots of other folks. We, we welcome you along. We're going to do the roast battle. Wait, what? February. What? We're going to do. Y'all didn't want to do the roast battle, so it's me and Jose now. So wait, we all ducked out of. There was. Hang on. Oh, let's talk ahead. about this. No, no, no. Go ahead. I was just there shaking was, my head. There was, like, there was an invitation to uh, do a, ro a Whiskey Brothers. You look like roast battle. Yeah. One of the shows that runs here in Houston, and we all no, Buffalo collectively Sorry. said no quickly. Fastly. Yeah, I was the, the first. No. You you rang in first. You were the, I actually said I'm down if anybody else. You wants said to I'm do. you went first. You said I'm down if anybody wants to. Trey, I looked at it and I went I usually here's how here's how our group text work. I don't know if everybody else is out there's group text work the same way. If you have like a group message with your friends and stuff, then there's a there's a you participate in it a certain way. You don't some of you are the first people to ring in, right? Yeah. The people listening at home. Some of you sit but I sit back. I like to wait and see what everybody else has to say before I <laughs> ring in and vote. You know what I mean? Because I might need to be the deciding push one way or another. So when you quickly went, yeah, I'm in, I went, well, that's uh, that's one vote I got to have to cancel out. <laughs> <laughs> or then, and then Trey went, nope. And I went, well, and it was boom, boom, boom. It was, <laughs> it was immediate. Well, see, that's what happened. I tried to do what Slade did. I waited all day and nobody <laughs> responded. And I felt bad. And it was like, fuck, I'm down. We can't always. <laughs> and then immediately within three minutes, bup, 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 nope. No. <laughs> but there's a, there's. So, just when when it was proposed, the way I read it was a Whiskey Brothers Rose Battle. I, I thought it was going to be us slamming us. And I was like, yes. I'm not doing that. That was no, exactly that's, that is the proposition. Like, and we know all I, our weaknesses. And I go listen to an episode. Yes, that that's what we do. What the fuck? I'm not. What the fuck? No. I said everything. I possibly stood to take the most damage, and I was down. <laughs> what? I, I appreciate it, but you're built to take the most damage. Yeah, yeah. The point. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get in on it, motherfucker. You don't get to do it. I know, but Jose can write that joke, not you. <laughs> I'm just I'm writing some shit for Jose. Yeah, is, Jose write that down. I'll you be know. writing this down, Jose. This is five. I think minute five. Oh, I'll gladly arm both of you. <laughs> <laughs> really I'll send funny. you in the battle with a full clip. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid of your Mexican jokes. <laughs> I'm not black enough to say them. <laughs> okay, so. I can't say that word, or that word, or that word. <laughs> fuck, <Dang>. Sam. <laughs> what the fuck is a ribbon, nigga? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is, okay, well. Wait, no, what? <laughs> well, you know, like they say, say it, nigga. That, like, it, I was like, if you just had the river part. Oh, basically, river. I every, heard rhythm. Yeah. I was no, like, that's just redundant. Basically, every race has their own version. They just, yeah. they, they tag them on to our shit, yeah. which we didn't want. They all have it. Yes. <laughs> Asian people, you know, 
They call them China niggas. It's like crazy. Yeah, and you've heard me call Canadians frost niggas? Frost niggas? <laughs> Everybody has it. <laughs> hey, no nigga is safe in America. No. So you know. Everybody gets I turned. come from hey. the trailer. Nigga, nigga is the greatest suffix. White for, folks are cave niggas. Yeah. <laughs> Just a humble spectator. Yeah. Oh, uh, on the boat of love. I'm hey, just... why don't we have any sponsors? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get some sponsors. Well, we were get gonna reach out to NWA. But... Can't even get an ad to run. <laughs> get an ad to run. <laughs> so, so where was the bigger point? Where were we before we got? <laughs> oh, I'm glad you went with bigger. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> My heart dropped a little bit. Oh shit! I, is, that was a hard I, R on that big one. to restart this motherfucker. <laughs> shit, it got crazy. His tongue got tied, bro. Yeah, nope, 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 He's nope. Not like nope. that. He's got two of us an opportunity. I have drowned the Bowman <laughs> in me, bro. It is. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't anywhere even close to accessible. Uh, simmer down. <laughs> it's really fucking. But he was doing backflips every time Slade started talking about NWA. <laughs> Here we go. It's our shot. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. Nigga, shot him by you, water. I'm on. I'm gonna say it. He's in his bedroom. How long am I grounded? It's like <laughs> <laughs> for life, motherfucker. Put me in, coach. No, that is really. We are fun. better than our fucking raising. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's right. We are not what Woo. they raised us to be. Woo. <laughs> so, Go ahead, I had a question, kind of off air, but I, I just have you ever thought about how stupid the fucking keyboard we type on is? No. Wait the 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 the, quirk, the, quirk, oh, the quirky keyboard? Yes. Key. Well, hang on. Placement. It's not. I can uh, without doing any quick research, I could probably argue why it's made that way. Okay. But it would be based on letter usage and frequency and um, the way the nerves ease, in your fingers work. ease to ease to reach based on how your fingers work. Okay. Exactly. Now, would be my guess. use and frequency in the home row, your fingers above the J. Uh huh. Not a frequent letter. Totally, but it's the closest space. A J. You ever play Minesweeper, where it's yeah. not about the position of the one thing; it's the position of the things around it. Yes. So if J and K suck, which they do, they're adjacent to letters that you probably use all the time, and it's better than trying to. You know what I mean? Q and Z are on the corners. They're like they're they've been isolated to their own little shit. Rightfully I, I so. Okay. I just think like Q didn't even was... make it into the LGBT until the very end. It was like the... <laughs> they was still debating that. It, it took a minute. Like... That's the so I totally understand All how right, the I keyboards guess. is a little racist. Come on over and, with your booty shorts. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just it, it's if they were <clears throat> in alphabetical order, like you could do it in the dark. It's like one, two, three, four. That's D. You know what I mean? But do you Anybody think? Do you I feel think... like Sam had to type something really long in the dark recently? <laughs> <laughs> a suicide letter? <laughs> what? That's what They're I typed. Just on a cruise ship <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> oh, definitely a suicide letter. That was me. That was <laughs> fuck. What is? Well, hang on, because I I know, I, I know my alphabet. I can do that in my head. Uh, mm -hmm. like, thank you. <laughs> The most Beaumont shit you've ever said. <laughs> I know where I come from. I got you. Oh, Some oh, people can't, bro. That's like three out of five people. Slade, that is the most hilarious sentence ever. I yeah, know my alphabet. That's They don't make you say it backwards when you get pulled over for drunk driving at Beaumont. They just make you say, say it. Say the alphabet regularly, yeah. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Um, so, the yeah, that's my whole point. Yeah, I got you. That, if it that's was, a, if it was, it was in a row. In order, though, it's the, I know where they are. I could find them in the dark, but it's not an easy. That's that's what it is. It's not, it, 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 it's, it's not intuitive. According to uh, however the fuck the, the, the shit clicks in your brain, it's not easy to type that way. Your Here's brain funny. Can you buy, can you buy an, al the can you buy an yeah. alphabetical keyboard? They had, I was going to say, so when I was, when I was in high school, they had two different, they had the, 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 they showed us the different keyboard like there's one that's for it's for a certain special needs kids that they have one that's in alphabetical order like that okay uh, but the they numbers. also have them that are like specialized for coding and other things all kind too, of shit right? like that yeah and I, there's got to be more I than one, one keyboard just like two pads and each one had a set of keys yeah i've seen here. those you seen that okay. yeah, for the ergonomic just, thing so you, yeah. can, you don't have to oh hands. like a cracked keyboard yeah, like yeah, someone broke it over their knee what's him carpal tunnel syndrome uh, people what in the courtroom, you know, what stenographers. stenographers. Like, yeah. Oh, but those have like special letters. Like one letter means like it, they're yeah. like they're like uh, phonetic short keyboards. Hand. Yeah, shortcut. Short yeah, hand. shorthand. Shorthand. Shortcut. Um, yeah, let's go shortcut. Yeah, shortcut. I've, I've yeah, seen we, that. And we, it's, we know we don't know what we're talking about. We're writing shortcut. D. 
difficult. But the so there's there's got to keyboards are just interfaces, right? Anybody can make a keyboard. You yeah. find what's most That's convenient true. to That's you. True. It's a you could just rearrange shit if you wanted to. We just reprogram one of them bitches. You could have that bitch Plug where in some macros. We'll make one letter do all. Well, of them if okay. You want. Yeah. <laughs> As of this airing, I'm now 43 years old. <laughs> okay. If you if you brought Feels me that like when I was fucking eight, I would be like. <laughs> <laughs> My problem is I type like shit. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, still a hunter. Why am I doing this? I'm just a real fast hunter. Which is amazing because your handwriting's immaculate. Oh, that's <laughs> wow. <laughs> this motherfucker writes with his left foot. This motherfucker's a pharaoh. <laughs> Dude, don't. <laughs> Bro, I can tell you what a bird looks like. Yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> don't give me a pen. <laughs> give me a it pen. looks like a seismograph. Uh, yeah, looks like I've had a stroke. Yeah. It looks like someone's really lying bad. to you. Oh. <laughs> That, oh wow! Okay, it's like Magna Doodle kind of. Yeah, yes. every letter has a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair so enough. what's the what's so do you do you not? I'm I'm a hunting pecker. I don't have the I don't Same. have the. I'm just real fast at it. I, yeah, I'm I'm incredibly fast. I tie I, my whole. I hold my hands over the keyboard like I'm a typist. I look, <laughs> but then I go. Boom, 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 I boom, look boom, down boom, boom, boom. and I type that way. I I wrote my whole book that way. I've written this whole new one that way. I write everything I do that way. It is constant. How fucking you're, 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 No, but that's just me. Like, if you had to find out how the author of the book typed this <laughs> bitch, and you found he was like, it's <laughs> once upon a time. I you appreciate like, that. Like, I'm fucking more. done with this book, dog. <laughs> like, Listen, man. If I this found out, a two finger, this bitch. if I found out David Foster Wallace wrote Infinite Jest on an old school ass typewriter, yeah. it just, well, nah. Say what you want. I think Stephen King wrote The Stand on one. Say what you want. <laughs> that thing is fucking this big. It's how Woody Allen half the Dark Tower. It's right? how Woody Allen writes all his scripts. He still writes on a, on a typewriter that he bought in 1960s. That, you can't. Or, my, when I, I remember my my grandfather had an old typewriter that I wish I could get a hold of now. <laughs> um, and when I was in school and the transition was going from uh, handwritten to typewritten, and this was oh, okay. before, oh, and yeah, then yeah. it made the transition to computer written all in that same, but like over like three or five years or whatever. Gotcha. So yeah. there was a stretch there where I was writing my, pa I would go to my grandparents' house and they would pull out this old black beat up uh, typewriter. It was beautiful. My grandmother <laughs> used to write all her f uh, poetry on it and my Wait, what the fuck you thought he was about to say? Oh. <laughs> you heard beat up black woman, and then I told her what to like. Oh shit! And I told her what to write down for me. Shame, Miss Slade. Our name is about the same. First of all, it's a letter off. Give me. A I wasn't even supposed to teach you to read, let alone type. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, if you don't get the fuck. <laughs> One, our family believed in treating. No, anyway. Here's oh shit. <laughs> You gonna go there? No, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> we will play dumb hypotheticals that never happen. I know, right? I'll fucking dance with you. They uh, were all house. <laughs> we didn't have a field to put them in, so they were all house. Where no one in our house couldn't read and write. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. No, so I would I would hunt and peck my way through my school papers. Got you. Yeah. And then I would bring them. In. But if you fucked up, you would either have to. Start new over. New piece of paper. New yeah. piece of paper or white out and then but you would have to pull the paper out, white out it, and then put it back, back down in. and line it up properly so you'd have like some weird E offs. It was just yeah. what a weird a chunk of yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fun fact, Beaumont's the only place where the slaves taught the owners how to read. <laughs> Give it to him. That's a clip. That's a fucking clip, Jerry. That's a clip, Jerry. And hey, give it to him. Give it to him. You son of a bitch. <laughs> That's solid. I'll drink to that. That was worth the wait. I'm keeping I'll that when I make that. fun of Beaumont on stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'll yeah, take yeah. the lick, but I'm also taking but the I'm line. I'm taking the line. Yeah. <laughs> solid. <laughs> solid. Which means you get to keep all the fat jokes. That's a, <laughs> totally fair. <laughs> Solid. Oh, that's so funny. God, I, I don't that's doubt so that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Felt perfectly reasonable. Oh, no, master, this is catching. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking funny. That's goddamn brilliant. Jerry, you have a butterbean story. In a shot in my mouth. <laughs> I know. Uh, not a butterbean story. I, Started I mean, without me. Not good. I'm, I'm a fan of butterbean. You, you, know? you mentioned his name earlier, and I know you're a fan. Yeah, yeah. I've always, I always loved dude. But I saw some rumblings. They were talking about making a movie about butterbean. You know. Wait, what? Yeah, there, there's some rumblings about possibly a little. 
flick about Butterbean, and I was like, who plays Butterbean, right? Okay, hang on. I hope they make it while I'm young enough to play him in his sort of prime. You, you, after prime. You could whatever. definitely, <laughs> I, I know it, so I know it. He's a, he's a, he's a. Yeah, I, you've hung out with him. And with, shit. We, 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 he, he was, when we were in Birmingham, we spent some time together. When I was with Ralphie, we went out to dinner together. He was here. By the way, that's who should have played him. He was, ah. I think Vincent D'Onofrio. You know, I believe he can eat his way into any role. Yeah. He has slowly <laughs> turned into <laughs> really good, big, bald people. No. Um, I got Dirk it. Dirk Rosebar said Michael Chiklis. Michael Chiklis would be good. Ooh. Chickless. You might have gotten out Chickless. Chickless looks like him in the face. Here's what fucked me up about Butterbean, because I've always known him. You know who we're talking about, Butterbean? Yeah, the, the, fighter? the, yeah, okay. bo- the boxer from so the So he's a big right? fat guy that knocked the fuck people out. Of course I love him, right? But when he first got entered in his first fighting contest, he had to eat butter beans in order to cut weight. They're gross. I don't know if you ever had them. They're Wait, fucking butter, terrible. Butter beans are like lima beans, Yeah, right? they're, they're fucking They're big, awful. fat, nasty. Yeah. Why, do they they call them, work. why do they call them butter beans? Uh, I, that do they I don't taste know. Like, they don't, don't taste like butter. They no, taste they, like damn sure they taste like the worst side of a. They should beans. be called dick beans. Is yeah. what they should be called. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how dick tastes, but no, I assume. No, no. Yeah, you know? no, not yet. Well, that but wasn't anyways, Jerry that night. Uh, not everybody works at an Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> I never worked in food service. They right? don't anymore. <laughs> but this dude, so he had to eat these things he hated. These are the things he hated. This food more than any Wait, other is, food. Does butter butter beans cut weight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it helped him cut weight. That's they're, what it, he they're like, like protein, that's, that's but not fat. fat. This motherfucker. It's like legumes. You know, any kind of legume is like usually high protein, low carb. Right. And it's a good source okay. of that. So he went on this diet where he had to eat these butter beans, or butter beans in order to cut butter beans. That sounds like something you eat. Butter beans. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you on a motherfucking roll today, huh? Butter wings. <laughs> I like butter wings. Now, yeah. anyway, so, <laughs> I bet you do. So he cuts weight. He gets in the fight, his first fight, and he of course starts just demolishing the motherfucker. And his friends get excited and they start chanting "butter bean, butter bean" because they're trying to piss him off because he's been eating butter beans for two months. And it, it worked, but then the crowd decides that's his fucking nickname, and the crowd gets excited, starts chanting butter bean, butter bean. Then he's stuck with his nickname for the rest of his life based on something he hates. So listen, classic. Li- listen, man, you don't get to pick your own nickname. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It ain't how it works. I, I want to see Sam uh, coming to the ring Diabetes. at 240 Diabetes. pounds. Calm, measured response, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Measured response. Measured response. Homeless slayed ham. <laughs> oh shit, that's really good. Oh lord. Oh lord, I'm waiting. Come on, dude. I didn't have more. Fuck you, Jerry. Fuck you, Jerry. Fuck you, Jerry. Middle-aged white women, Trey Tutson. <laughs> you could have just said white women. Yeah. I have to get specific. You just said Jerry Wayne. <laughs> Jerry Wayne, you check all them boxes. I mean, mine would probably be a broccoli or some shit, you know. What, you? No, the R word. Don't you fucking hate the R word? <laughs> oh, that's true, too. Yeah. yeah that's the R word, Jerry. It's really fucked up. R word, Jerry. <laughs> a lot of people on that Maybe team. Like, that might be a good fight name, though. It's hard R, Jerry? <laughs> hard R, Jerry. <laughs> If they make this when he was younger, Dude, this is I story, would like though. to see Jonah Hill do it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Shave Jonah Hill's head. Jonah Hill or Robert Kelly. Robert, no, except, except I don't. Bobby yes, Robert he's Kelly, just, yeah. I don't like him. Um, okay. I think the dude who played uh, the, who was the guy who played the bald dude in Game of Thrones? Shane Gillis. Okay. No, Shane McGill. That's <laughs> Shane Gillis. No, Shane Gillis. No. Yeah, no, not no. him. Oh, dude. Oh, the, 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 he yeah, played the, the eunuch. Yes, the eunuch. I, I don't know. He was also a uh, bad cop in was it not Burn Notice. Uh, something else. He was in a. We uh, all right know collar. who's doing this though. Who? Oh. This has Matthew McConaughey written <laughs> all over. He's gonna pack on the weight. Shane no, Jared Leto. The Alabama. Jared, Jared Leto. Leto. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's a you literally spit six feet. Michael <laughs> Rooker. <That's, laughs> no, hang on. That's Trey just shot. I saw a fucking rainbow. A social distance. <laughs> I broke that shit with this. I'm sorry. It's on my painting. Oh, it's I literally apologize. that went sixty oh, feet. Oh no, no, that's come. That's, that's not. <laughs> that's <laughs> also on my fine. painting. Yeah. That's just asthma. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> 
That's yeah, yeah. I just got a little touch of the asthma today. That's uh, I think Jared Leto. I think he's gonna Jared eat Leto's himself good. into the role, take his shirt off, and cut his hair. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. Gary Oldman. John Favreau. <laughs> Man, Ooh, he played right. octagon fighter and friends. Not a good one, but but he he's got some little girth to him. You can't you take that fucking hair off. I think Michael Rooker, be if fun. you can CGI them wrinkles. Nah, you can't CGI. You can't, you can't CGI. It's got to be someone who can oh, pull off. Use that the, fucking de aging technology like they no, did. The Irishman. No, no, it doesn't look right. That's a huge Rooker's part of why. Rooker's voice is raspier than mine, dude. Dude, have you seen American Pickle? With Seth yeah, Rogen, a piece of shit. Oh, dude, I, I fell asleep on a flight I watching so that. Go- what? I laughed so goddamn oh, hard oh, watching you? that. Hey, hey, I'm gonna just say it. <laughs> Your <laughs> fucking taste in movies sucks. <laughs> God damn, I it's think shitty. It's fucking brilliant. Oh, oh my man, fucking I god, dog. One hundred percent. I'm gonna put that audio we over the video of them holding hands, and we're just gonna run it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shit, yeah. If this, if we was in a gay relationship, I'm picking the movie. <laughs> No, no. No, you're just going to watch the Irishman. I ain't waiting wait three hours to get laid. No. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Watch. I'm not going to watch a fucking shitty Seth Rogen movie. <laughs> just, just to get fucked in the ass twice? <laughs> so you so your couch ends up looking like a shitty yeah. Seth Rogen <laughs> movie? movie? Yeah. <laughs> Chat came through. Kevin James. Ah, oh, that's solid. Kevin he already James. did the Here Comes the Boom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah. Here, yep. Yeah, he does James. action. We saw Hitch. That's strong. Yeah, I, I, I think. <laughs> I saw, Robert Kelly's still not a bad, a bad. He just looks like him. He, he does. And I'd like to see him get punched yeah. in the face. Yeah, but, but Butterbean's strong. You know? He fucking Butterbean. talks shit about me on a podcast. Really? Oh. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, just I met him twice, and he was really cool. Yeah, I, I worked with him. Number good. of times back in the day. Bro. All good. Fuck him in the face. I avoided him. <laughs> I have never seen a second of his stand up. I have. Mm. Ever. It, it's Boston y. Yeah. yeah. It's a, I'm no, not going to talk shit about him. He's an the asshole. Best to me, so. adjective. That was perfect. It's Boston y. That's exactly how it felt. Well, thank you, Jerry. <laughs> oh, God. Y'all going to fuck her what? You don't compliment me anymore. Your... <laughs> you didn't even give me a fucking. A, a, a ring, French kiss, a chant. Well, no, I didn't. figured Slade was gonna ring in. I before did. I could do, get I'm <laughs> Do we need to go to Yankee Candle for these motherfuckers I'm or something? T- is that a fucking sex act or a racehorse? Because <laughs> they're gonna do it either I way. Oh, you noodle sharing niggas ain't fucking talking <laughs> over here. <laughs> fucking talk about me. Y'all reenacting Disney movies and shit. Oh, fucking, we ate one plate of spaghetti. Y'all fucking to the Notebook. This is totally different. These are not what even in the said, same realm. <laughs> <laughs> hey Google. <laughs> hey, <laughs> never mind. Hey Google, insult these motherfuckers. <laughs> I, I don't think our hands have ever touched when they're not in a clenched fist. No, <laughs> that's a, I, I, that was was well, shit. Yeah, it's a, it's a, but I mean, if y'all want to have a contest. <laughs> Said old Who's gay? Yeah. No. <laughs> y'all be finishing each other's sentences. And yeah. bitch. Y'all be finishing <laughs> each other. <laughs> And <laughs> Jose got uncomfortable. <laughs> if I was His eyes got dance. so big. I <laughs> Trade. I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> I got no comeback. I sit here. I got <laughs> big brother. I'm gonna need bitch. you to not say words like "come" and "back" when you sit next to Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> this is I got a fine back to come on. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. That's at least you put the words together. An <laughs> older generation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. This generation oh, likes it on their chest. You guys, it's cool. It's like coming on Babe in the City. It's fine. It's, it's fine. You just got permissions revoked. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Ah, uh, Tristan Drudge was a tag team rose belt. Yeah. yeah. This is why. Yeah, this is why we're doing it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Tune in every goddamn Tuesday. You know I do. You don't have enough money for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. This is given to you free because there's no way there's a ticket yeah. price. <laughs> you assholes, it's you can't It's invaluable. This. No. <laughs> this is, you get this here, you get this nowhere. I assume this has been a half hour. I don't even know. <sighs> Pretty close. Anybody got anything else they want to get out of the way before we... I'm in Austin, uh, February 11th and 12th. I'm here on the Velveeta room. You're at the Velve. That's the patch on the jacket. Have you done yeah. the Velve before? This is my first time doing Bro, the Velve this ever. Is, so. Doing the Velve is a, uh, in, in, in all of comedy history, playing the Velve, being on that stage so. is totally a patch on the jacket. It. So awesome. good on you. I that is, uh, um, it's a good room. Yeah, I can't wait. So come out to that. I am at my bar, 
Well, this this coming Thursday. For Rich Williams, that's a Houston gig for sure. Yep. I am uh, at Memorial Ice House on Washington uh, this Friday, the 28th. Awesome. Gee. Um, and then that same bar, February the 25th. I'll be back there. Nice. Uh, Jerry Wayne coming up. I'm an Eighth Wonder Comedy Hour headlining Sunday night at Secret Group. Outstanding. That's a very good room. And then uh, I'm headlining the Improv February 9th. Uh, come out. I'm doing a brand new, uh, a lot of, it's mainly, it's a brand new show. Uh, I'm joined by Ben Jackson and I believe Barry Laminak are on that show. Uh, Interesting I'm, line. That's a strong lineup. Might Both be wrong, but out. that's what I think it is. Uh, ben Jackson's very funny. That's someone we need to bring yeah, in for Edo. Yeah, uh, man. We well, need to remember oh, that. Oh, yeah. Ben, for uh, sure. They're going to think it's me again. It's always. Uh, speaking of which, Kenji Alonzo will be on Edo and the best of. <laughs> speaking of, you look like. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm trying to see how long I can replace you without them knowing. Right? The that, that would be wild. I just keep filtering uh, them out. Somebody different every week, and I just call them Trey Tutson. Please, my guys. name's Kenji. You ain't your Trey, or you won't fucking talk. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Kenjamin, and Kenjamin. I think it's really fucking cool. It is. Yeah. I think that's a really cool name. Kenjamin? Yeah. yeah. You think that's dope? Uh, yeah. You, you can took find. Two names. Just. Kenji will be on the best of Edo that uh, starts happening February 1st, goes all the way into mid-April. Uh, we have a show April 2nd, collectively, as the Whiskey Brothers. I believe all four of us are going to be there. Be that there. is Dukes up in Humble. A me. lot of our stuff is concentrated here in Houston. We're working on some really cool stuff, but we're working on all this stuff that uh, you guys can participate in. If you know a venue close to you, uh, put them in touch with us. That's how we get out to you. We'd love to collectively roll out and tell some jokes in your little city. Uh, thank you to all the people who have donated whiskey, a huge collection. From Nate Williams, our good friends at Old Humble Distilling Company. The uh, the Alamans have dropped some stuff. Everybody, there's so many different bottles on this table. Uh, any thoughts before we get out of here? Um, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anybody, I I John uh, uh, that any, anybody else that <laughs> I think that paused. kills it Jose Pena thank you so much for your help and to you guys in the chat and everywhere else uh, we appreciate you Twitch the place to follow us but YouTube after that the improv in Pittsburgh yeah we'll make it out that way we'll also set up to. a show with Hofstetter we gotta come in and crash that new Steel City Why Arts Foundation just set a tour up <laughs> let's just do it let's just pick this let, is I, I feel you like gotta we do this before we get out of here up. just I don't even fucking know let's just set let's, one up let's do this Gulf Coast a go let's go let's be willing to go Texas to Florida and up as far north as Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. You wanna go as far north as Pittsburgh? Let's do it. Let's go east and then up. Let's talk let's about just this. Set we got time for want to play at Room in Kentucky. Hang on, we got time for this. Let's yeah. we're we're not on any sort of uh deadline. We're gonna do Kentucky. We're well, gonna oh, we're gonna go oh, back to the, oh, the, the caravan. Mm -hmm. But if we started here and we worked our way east, and what's this place is no longer at Science Butters in Tampa. Uh, fucking Bobby Jewell, he can die in a fire, but I bet BT is running the room now. Okay. So the who who used to manage it, what about I bet off Broadway and Lexington. We could probably dude, we could probably work all these out. What if we work a quick tour, one nighters oh. into Florida? We go up as far north as Pittsburgh. I guarantee you, we could cinch a show at Steel City Arts because Hofstetter's cool, um, and that stage just got built out. And if not, we could find somewhere else. And if we just did this night after night, we'll take off Sundays and Mondays because it sucks. We'll take off Monday because it sucks. Maybe Tuesday. And we'll just fucking hang out. But the, we'll do five days a week, two weeks in a row. We'll podcast live from the road. We'll all jump in a car. We can piece this together for whatever it costs us. to. If you have a city between Texas and Florida and all the way up north into the – in, into Ohio. In, into, no, you don't – you've got to look That's at a map. Middle. Uh, but if you go north – Where the fuck is Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? Shut up. All right, yeah. anyway, I – you answered all I your questions. I went to school in Pasadena. Jerry just turned red. He's choking. A hogo. Shut fuck it. Up. Fuck it. Pop it. Pop I it. I hate this oh, relationship, oh. Jerry. He's, he's a hogoing. Get that fucking. Get that. He's got an avocado pit in his. That fucking, you know you, he man. brings spare fucking food. <laughs> <laughs> he's choked out. That was wrong. That yeah. was fucking. I'm sorry. That was a fuck up. I'll pour myself a shot. Yeah, I'm good. But you let's. Right? let's. If you have a city. Maybe that was fucked up again? of me. And I should not do that. <laughs> I'm acknowledging it. If you have. If you're. If you're somewhere between. Let's put a tour together. I don't know why we haven't. We know enough people between these vans. We can absolutely make this happen. I'm fucking down. All right, let's let's do it. Can we do it in May? No, can we do it? Can we do it in June? Yeah. All right, let's book this in June. We'll be back from overseas. I think I'll have a tour. I'll be oh, back. Shit. And after that, we'll do a straight tour of Texas. Well, this gives us six months to put this together. To drive through snow if you're watching, too. it's on, motherfuckers. All right, I'm going to come in and look at your dumb, stupid texts about all these things because you guys uh, have had some put opinions. This bitch on. We're going to put a tour together uh, in June, and we're going to go everywhere. And it's decided uh, the four of us are doing it. So, uh, cool. That's everything. Now, 
Anybody else got another? We gonna build a rocket ship or some shit before we leave? <laughs> uh, <laughs> if not, the out route, the spoiler room, uh, the yes. Whiskey Brothers, Slade Runner. Uh, we're working on so many different projects. Jerry Wayne Longmire's uh, uh, The Wrecking Yard is out as well if you want to watch a full special. So many Whiskey Brothers things. Just go check out the YouTube channel and uh, find out where we are. Thanks again to Jose Pena and everybody for being a fan, follower, friend, and all of those other F words. We're going to get out of here. We'll see you on another episode soon. They don't want no problem. Nah. Music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye.